Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my review and unboxing of the Decathlon 10 watt mobile solar charger or solar panel on the go. Uh, they're calling it a tracker or tracking solar panel that is going to be presented in this video and I'm going to go through some of its main elements. As you can see, this is the packaging and it's basically the solar panel itself with the back element the back let's call it a small bag that contains just several items it's basically a usb cable as you can see and these clips that are used to kind of hold potentially the same solar panel on your backpack they're pretty solid they're working well i saw some reviews that mentioned that they don't have that kind of spring element that keeps them together but these are working just fine another element of course is the cable it's a usb to mini usb which is kind of provided with the same solar panel it's not overly long it's somewhere around half a meter or something like that maybe a bit longer than that so you can't expect a very long cable in the package but you can add any cable you'd like with a regular usb port now here is the back side, it has a small instructional setup showcasing that you basically shouldn't uh, place it <laughs> on a lot of stuff. And here is the charger itself, the plug where the USB cable goes and everything kind of fits together well. This is the front side, as you can see it's repairable to a point actually, not sure how and why would you want to repair it if a solar panel broke i guess you can take it out and replace it with a new one but likely that's not to be something you can simply and easily do uh, a bit of velcro tape holds it together and once you open it up here is the actual panel it's created from two separate panels here is again a short instruction showcasing you what you can expect in what part of the day depending on the angle of the sun. The cardboard element simply slides away from the solar panel and that's it, that's the unboxing part. Here's the declaration, you have additional elements in a range of languages, which is kind of the decathlon approach. Again, it's not flexible, it shouldn't be able to tolerate any kind of moisture or rain, but the same principle of charging, which applies to any solar panel, applies to this one as well. The panel itself is extremely light, it's stated to be somewhere around 430 grams, which seems to be with <laughs> additional elements of the cable and everything. Without it, it's even lighter, so it's basically like a really thin textbook, both in size and in its actual weight, which is pretty amazing if you want to use it for any kind of outdoor activity tracking or having it just like a backup. Or for example your devices or even vehicles i think even a light vehicle like electric scooter could get some charge from the same solar panel i'm going to showcase more of that later on here is a size comparison this is my huawei p9 Lite, an old phone as you can see it's pretty small but it's not miniature so those 10 watts are in there each panel is 5 watts you can also buy a bigger solar charger which is 15 watts and it includes basically only three three of these plates instead of two the velcro and the whole packaging seems pretty quality high quality and so are these elements for the clips where you would kind of connect it to a backpack for example that would be useful because i saw some reviews that are mentioning that people are for example when they're tracking or they're outside like in the mountains or something like that, they can and do place it on their backpacks and connect it to their power bank. Now this is an important element, I'm going to showcase that later on. Ideally, you don't charge your device directly with this, even though I tested it out, it does work with phones, but because of the charge, which is unstable, uneven, depending on clouds, direction of the sunlight and stuff like that, you better charge any device through a power bank an external power bank 
where you would connect first the solar charger, of course, with the cable, and then connect the cable to the power bank, which it continues to charge. Later on, people who take it on their backpacks connect the same charger, disconnect actually the charger, the solar charger from their power bank and connect the power bank itself to their device, be it mobile phone or something else. Which makes pretty much a lot of sense because the device will get the charge it needs while the battery will get filled through the solar panel or the same power bank. Here I'm going to test out just that. I have a no-name brand power bank, basically a small power bank, which is, uh, let me just try to focus it a bit better. Uh, here's the capacity and I'm going to test it out now. And it's at 75%. This isn't too accurate. Uh, each of the light, lights, four lights represent basically 25, 50, 75 and 100% charge. So it's between 50 and 70 percent charged and now I'm going to test it out with the same solar charger and see how it functions. Here we are, it's outside, it's a really warm sunny August day, August 3rd in Novi Sad, Serbia, so I'm going to connect the solar panel with the charger and then with the power bank and it started charging it immediately as you can see it's presenting either above 50 percent, let's say like, like that, so it's between 50 and 75 percent and I'm going to leave it it's around 2 p.m. so it's bright sunny warm August day zero clouds and see what it has done in about an hour and a half which is how much I'm going to keep it outside and then see the results in terms of the charge that it managed to generate hopefully the same charge will be above expectations here we are to less than a two hour later, it's basically 90 minutes later, we have some shade, the sun changed its position, so the solar panel isn't even fully in the sun, it's not providing 10 watts, it's likely providing somewhere around 6 or 5, and let's see what it did to the battery, which was connected for, like I said, an hour and a half, and see how much charge did it generate from that 90 minute period of basically more or less ideal environment in my part of the world uh, which is continental Europe, Serbia and in that 90 minutes hopefully those 10 watts managed to generate enough charge to fill the power bank to at least some extent and here we are I'm testing it out it's showing a full full capacity which is pretty impressive, so it managed to generate somewhere around 40% of that power bank charge and that's pretty impressive and a great result. So there you have it, that's the Decathlon 10 watt solar charger, hopefully you found this review useful.